welcome to a new season of Hoosier Sports Night. Alongside Nolan Blair, I'm Sarah Gurian. And Nolan, it's a new year and we're back. This entire football season has been one about improvements, getting the non-conference wins, and then improving to win in the Big Ten. The Hoosiers completed the second task on Saturday at Illinois with a special spark from the Hoosier defense. For the second home game in a row, the Indiana Hoosiers faced an in-state opponent. But unlike the first time, the Hoosiers were unable to get the win in the final seconds of the game. It's known as the Sheila Depot effect. And with Will Sheehy's improving injury, it's hard not to notice the chemistry between the two on the court. It only took head coach Kurt Miller two years to get the Indiana women's basketball program to 21 season wins and further into the postseason in the WNIT as they defeated Northwestern 66-65 to thanks to a last second layup from Simone Deloach. Energy, toughness, and passion. Three things that Tom Crean said were integral parts of IU's 99-45 win against Sam Houston State. I am now here with IU Athletics Director Fred Glass and this is a really big event. You have food, everybody's dressed the nines. What is your favorite part of this event? Now, like you said, everybody is dressed up very nicely. You're wearing your candy stripe tie. Who do you think the best dressed team is going to be of the night? I am now here with IU coach of the volleyball team, Sherry Dunbar. And Coach Dunbar, you look awesome. Thank you so much. What you. was? Oh, thank you. What was the inspiration for your outfit? Uh, comfort. Uh, okay. You have to look a little chic tonight, and my girls will all be in four-inch heels, so you know I couldn't go with the flat, this normal outfit. I had to go with something bigger. I am now here with former Hoosier, Victor Oladipo. Well, first off, welcome back. How does it feel to be back in Bloomington? Here at Assembly Hall, we're sending it down to the third member of our crew, Sarah Gurian. Looking at the starting lineup on this team, Chicago State started with five seniors compared to Indiana's one senior, Will Sheehy. And this is something that coach of the Chicago State wanted to do because he is trying to build this team based on senior leadership. This is not something for Indiana to work, worry about because they have a six-ranked recruiting class in this freshman class. And they are showing on the court that they are worth that ranking. A very athletic and a quick learning team that will definitely live up to the Indiana standard. Back to you guys. Indiana with an early lead over Chicago State, but a few minutes ago, Troy Williams was hit in the eye. Sarah has more on the sideline. Well, what I saw on the sideline, guys, was he was being attended by the athletic training uh, team. It seemed to be a cut on his eyebrow. They were just cleaning up what seemed to be a little bit of blood and put some medication on it. But for right now, he is in the team huddle getting a drink of water, and he looks to be that he will be back in the game shortly, or as soon as they can take care of that injury. Hi, I'm now here with Coach Tim Buckley. And Coach, what did you like from the first half? It was a very explosive first half for the Hoosiers. I thought we did a really good job of attacking in transition, playing good defense and scoring out of our defense. And then once we got it across the timeline, then we changed sides of the floor and got good buckets. And what do you think that the team needs to do in order to keep this lead and finish out strong? Well, we've got to do a better job in transition defense. I think they've been able to score out of transition, both on us not getting back and getting matched up and turning the ball over. So we've got to do a good job. I'll take care of the ball. Thanks, Coach. Guys, back to you. Welcome back to Assembly Hall. Now we have seen the freshmen have really developed through the past two exhibition games and in tonight's game. But the two players that have been on the team for already one year are Hannah Mascara Perea and Jeremy Hollow. You've seen what they're blocking and they're all awesome offensive and defensive production. Now, like team Tom Green says, they have really taken a leadership role and really developed their skills to really take a big role in this future team. I'm now going to send it back over to the guys at the desk. I'm now here with Jeremy Hall. And Jeremy, you had a career-high 16 points tonight. How good does that feel to open up the season with such a high amount of scoring? Uh, it feels good. Um, I've been waiting on this a long time, ever since last year. Um, I just wanted to come out and play hard and um, compete, and that's what I did. And what does this do for the team chemistry to start off with such a big win? Uh, just We just want to keep moving forward. Every day we're working hard in practice. And, um, it's a good first win. I don't know our bell, but we got to gear up and get ready for next game. Thanks, Jeremy. Congratulations. Summer top of the world. 
Kevin Wilson and his team started off the season in a 73-35 victory over the Indiana State Sycamores on Thursday night. Josie Genovicious has more from Memorial Stadium. After struggling against number two ranked Notre Dame, the men's soccer team fell to Penn State 2-0. Katie Lippe was at the match and takes a look at how the team is struggling to put balls in the net against defensively strong teams. The Hoosiers will face the SEC Conference as Mizzou comes into Bloomington on Saturday night. Nolan Blair is in studio to break down what the team has been saying about the Tigers come Saturday. This year was the year of the rookie teams. One of these teams was the women of Kappa Delta who qualified 18 and eventually finished in 10th place. Not only is Nolan Blair an anchor, but also a KD kitchen boy, and he was at the track to talk to team member Libby Mopper. But for the last time, for Nolan Blair, I'm Sarah Green. Thanks for watching.